Hi, everybody. Stefan Molyneux from Free Domain Radio here with Diamond and Silk. Now, you can check them out at diamondandsilk.com or youtube.com slash the viewers view. We'll put the links right below. Ladies, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you, thank for, you for having us. us. So you have a particularly interesting view of the media because uh, you're unconventional uh, in terms of your politics and your approach to things and your support for Donald Trump. What is your view of the media since you became pro-Donald Trump versus before when you were more sort of mainstream Democrats? Well, we still see the media as being biased. They're always lying. They're spewing hate and they keep our country divided. Yes. So it's still the same thing. And what we want is the media to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. We cannot be divided in this country. We have to unite in this country. It's time for them to start being fair and balanced. It's supposed to be uh, free uh, media. It shouldn't be controlled. That's it's right. It's supposed to be free. It's the, and it seems like it's control, and it's controlling people, and they need to stop that. Yeah, I mean, I just, all I want is the facts. And all, I feel like I'm just being manipulated all the time. And I see that when you guys get interviewed by other people. Oh, the KKK, all Mexicans are rapists. All of these false positions that are put forward. It's incredible. Just give me the facts. Let me decide for myself. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. And you know, they take one, they take it, they spin it, they twist it mm -hmm. to suit them. Yeah. We want free press, not control press is what we want in this country. That's right. Well, I, I hope that this, and, and I think Donald Trump is really exposing that by taking on the media. It seems like just about everybody beforehand, like that on the Democrat side, they pretty much get their ego stroked by the media and everything's pumped positively. On the Republican side, they've all seemed to be kind of afraid of the media, which is why I think this illegal immigration topic hasn't come up. But here we finally have somebody on the right who's willing to manfully stand up to the media, and it yeah. seems to be driving them crazy. Well, yeah. I absolutely love it. I like a man that never waver, nor do he back down. That's right. That's why he's leading. We're looking for him to be the nominee and the next president of the United States because of that reason. We're going to have to be told the truth. That's right. People would love to hear a well-dressed lie, but it's time to tell the naked, nasty truth to set everybody free so that we can move our country forward. And it's time for someone to finally speak up for the American people. That's right. He's working for us. He wants to work for us not against us. Right. Everybody want to be mad at Donald Trump, but one mm. thing about Donald J. Trump, at least he listened to the American people, That's unlike right. this current administration and everybody else. Well, and I don't know about you guys, but I'd kind of given up on politics for the most part, because I just felt like everybody was already bought and paid for by the time we got to hear from them. You know, like somebody had already given them donations and they already were going to give whatever laws were going to be beneficial to those groups. But this idea that Donald Trump is not taking donations from major corporations or banks or whatever, that he actually can listen to the people, I, I would, never in a million years would I have guessed that would be the next thing in American politics. Well, it needs to be the next thing. Listen, mm -hmm. we want our next president to work for us, not against us. When you see these career politicians taking big money from donors, special interest groups, and lobbyists, those things get pushed, and it's not for the American people. That's and most right. of the time, it's not for the good of the American people. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump won't what's for the good of the American people. So he don't have to take your corporation money. He can fund his own campaign, yes. and he's speaking volumes for the American people, and that's what we love. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I've heard, you know, some people have a come to Jesus moment, and you guys seem to have had a come to Trump moment. Was it the moment that you saw him? Was there something in what he said or the way he carried himself? Were you fans of Donald before the presidential run? Well, we knew, we, you know, we would see Donald Trump on TV. You know, he hosts The Apprentice or whatever. But here's the deal. When he announced that he was running for president mm -hmm. and said that he was going to secure our borders, I thought, why haven't our borders be secure? That's right. Don't we secure our house? Isn't that White House secure? Yes. The borders should be, cure, be secure. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring back jobs where people can thrive, and I'm going to bring back spirit where people are united. Mm -hmm. When he said those things, I jumped on the Trump train immediately. immediately. This is who I wanted to be our next president right yes. here. Was that something to do with the, the joblessness, jobless rates within the black community? Do you think that what he's doing in terms of keeping out illegal immigration is going to have specific benefits to the black community that maybe other people aren't quite as aware of? 
it's going to have a, a benefits all, all, all across the line mm -hmm. with 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 black with white with everyone listen to me we cannot have people to come up in america's house and take our substance and send them back over across there or into their country that's right if they want rights they need to fight for those rights in their own country not fight for rights over here in our country the rights over here in our country is for the american people mm -hmm. and when you come in this country you need to be legally Legal. in this country because I'm an American. You say you love America. Yeah. You want to work in America. Then why don't you be American? Well, and it, it also breaks my heart a little bit to think of all the people who most want freedom leaving Mexico or leaving other countries. Who's left? There's nobody left in those countries who are going to actually fight for the freedoms that Americans enjoy in their host countries. Well, see, that's why you have to fight for those rights in your own country. Mm -hmm. Not come over here and fight, fight for rights. You have to do that in your mm -hmm. own country is what you should do. See, what Donald Trump want to do is create order. There's too much chaos on the border. Mm -hmm. You have people crossing the border bringing in drugs. Mm -hmm. People crossing the border killing up our citizens. We have to put a stop to that. We have to know who's walking among us. Right. So the border has to be secure. Mm -hmm. And when you come in this country, you can come in, but you have to be legal. Now, on your website, you have this hall of, of shame or the wall of shame. And I, like, it, it breaks my heart to see the amount of negativity that's coming at you ladies, uh, sometimes from your own communities. Where is that coming from? Do, do, do people feel like you've just sort of broke ranks with like everybody who's black is supposed to vote Democrat? And, and I think you've referred to it as the Democrat plantation. Where's all that hate coming from? <laughs> well, you know, wait a minute. Now, just because you black, you don't have to vote Democrat. That's right. Those people have been conditioned to think one way to see it one way. Yes. And I don't want to be inside of a box anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't need the black leaders telling me how to vote. Mm -hmm. I don't need the media telling me how to vote. That's right. I have my own mind. I can think for myself. I don't need anyone feeding me their narrative. That's right. I already got the narrative that I want to go with. I want the wall up so our border can be secure. Yes. I want the jobs back where we're thriving and that we want our country united, baby. And when I take a good look around, I see that the Democrats have done absolutely nothing for the black community but kept them stuck in a rut looking really messed up. Oh. <laughs> I like it, Sam. Well, I, yes, I, I, I feel you could talk thought. a little bit more about that. I feel you've got stuff bubbling up in you that oh, you want to get yes. out about that, so let's take the time in here. Well, see, here's the deal. You know, we've been conditioned to always vote one way. Right. We don't want to do that anymore. The more they hate, the more we have to educate. Mm -hmm. We have to let them know. When they mention KKK, well, the Democrats started the KKK. They when they say, well, do, well, he didn't disavow the KKK uh, fast enough. Well, look at how Hillary Clinton praised the KKK. Yes. Look at how the Clinton signed in a crime bill to keep you stuck. Right. Look at how Bill Clinton outsourced your jobs where you're not thriving anymore. That's right. You have to educate people yes. and all we're doing is educating you whether you're black white hispanic asian blind cripple crazy we yes. don't know who you are yes. but we're gonna educate you to let you know why you should be stumping for trump That's right. why you should be voting for trump That's and right. why you should be on the trump and train. make the democrats earn your vote don't just let them sit here and tie to your victimization about being mad about somebody getting killed or what have you well they don't get to earn my vote my vote is going solely and only oh, with so donald j is. trump and what we're telling the Democrats get off of that Democratic plantation. That's right. We are tired of voting for the same system that keeps handing us crowns. That's right. Now it's time to vote somebody in that can give us the ingredients exactly. and show us how to make a whole cake and yes. then we can sit down and have a slice of it. That's we right. can't be walking around in front of white America talking about Black Lives Matter that's when we're right. killing people in our own community. That's right. Bring somebody in that's going to bring back spirit. Yes. That's going to show us how we can thrive. Yes. I don't want you giving me no fish. Bring me some opportunities and show me how to fish that's so right. I can fish all day and get as many fish as I want to get. And thank you, <laughs> Donald Trump, for earning our vote. He earned our vote. That's yes, right. he did. So is it, is it fair to say that maybe the Democrats are preaching dependency and Donald Trump is trying to create an opportunity for Absolutely. independence and, and some sort of capacity to chart your own course by getting a job, by having economic opportunities, whereas the Democrats kind of put what people on the drip, drip, drip of here's a little bit more government money, here's a little bit more yeah. patronage, and that just creates dependency, which seems to Absolutely. kind of undermine communities uh, uh, on all sides of the race spectrum. You are absolutely, absolutely right. right. That's right. 
Listen, if you ever want to know what's going to happen to the body of people, look at the head. So if the head is broken, the body of people is broken. Yes, right. But if the head is successful and prosper and yes. an entrepreneur, then the body of people is going to trickle down to the body of people. That's right. We want to see prosperous people. Yes. We want to see down near Chicago, those people coming up. And Baltimore, those people coming up. We want to see communities thriving again. We are tired of seeing communities being burned down by right. our own community. Why? Because they don't have. Mm -hmm. They're in lack. And no Nobody is thinking about that. You have President Obama overseas somewhere talking about a trade deal. Hmm. Worry about this country. Worry about the jobs here. in this country and making sure American citizens have good jobs where they can feed their families. And sugar ain't for free. That's right, baby. No. They can give it to you all day. And you listen, if they give you some sugar, they're going to be controlling, controlling you. you. You do not want people trying to control you. Right. And they ain't going to give you the best sugar. No. They're going to give you just a little bit of something. It ain't going to be the good just stuff. It ain't going to be the good stuff. Mm -hmm. I tell you that when they give it. Get out and get it for yourself. That's it's right. the best thing. So the Democrats have the drugs and... Uh, Donald Trump has the intervention. He's got the methadone. He's going to get everyone off it. Yeah. Now, how do you guys feel about, uh, I kind of know this in advance, but, but I think we share similar feelings about one Hillary Clinton. Um, how, how do you guys feel uh, about, about her chances and, and her policies and, of course, the fact that it seems likely that she's going to go up against the, the Donald? Well, you know, the fact that she's taking and she's running off of uh, Obama's platform mm -hmm. or trying to carry that le so-called legacy on, mm -hmm. it's a disaster for America. Yes. We are tired of political correctness. We don't like the fact that she has it on her bucket list to be president. And I don't want her in the White House. The house she probably need to be in is maybe the jailhouse, the jailhouse. with the email scandal. Mm -hmm. How she left those people in Benghazi. That's right. How do we expect for this lady to... Keep us safe yes. when she couldn't keep them people in Benghazi That's safe. Right. How do we expect for this lady to make sure that um, people are not going to jail for just having a little house of marijuana mm -hmm. when they were the one that signed the crime bill into law? That's and right. Bernie Sanders voted for that. That's right. um, look at these are the same people that created all, all of this mess. mess. Now all of a sudden they say they can come in and change it. We don't need another Clinton in the White House. No, we, don't. we don't need no Ted Cruz. No. We don't need no Casey. We need no, a need Donald no J. Trump. That's right. Never wavering nor does he back down. That's right. We want him to go in there and clean up that inside a mess. And when people show you who they are, please believe them. Uh, Hillary Clinton, they have shown us, them Clinton has shown us exactly who they are, and we believe them. That's right. Well, and it also struck, struck me as just astounding that the moderators in the debates were picking away at Donald for some tweets and some Rosie O'Donnell comments of the war on women and so on. Whereas if you look at Hillary Clinton's husband, I mean, not only could she not keep the people in Benghazi safe, she couldn't keep most of the women around her from, safe from her own husband. Absolutely. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And all of that stuff is going to play out yeah. in politics now. Yeah. It's time for her. Look, she can go home. I don't think we need, we don't need another Clinton running this house. No, we now, don't. some say, well, we need a woman, but not right now. No. We have too much. We have, uh, we have a crisis with ISIS. People chopping off people's heads. We got to get our stuff on track. I yes. want someone like Donald Trump. Yes. I will feel much safer mm -hmm. up under a Trump presidency. Someone that's not scared. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe George Clinton, but certainly, certainly not Hillary. Now, um, when it comes to the sense of protection, um, I, I live in Canada, so we've got you know, the U.S. border, which is relatively secure, and we got seas all over the place. What is it the sense in America about how porous and how dangerous? Like, I read all these tunnels going under the border and people just flowing back and forth like an ocean. How dangerous does it seem to you guys that the southern border is to America? Where it's very dangerous very. because you have people bringing in uh, drugs. Mm -hmm. You know, people are out of their mind in this country. Where do you get these drugs from? Where do they come from? Where, if they're coming from that southern border, we got to stop that. We, can, we have people crossing over. We don't know what you're crossing over with. That's we right. don't need you coming down in here trying to gun down our people. Not only that, but I heard the other day that ISIS members was trying to cross over to our borders That's to right. get into this country. Mm -hmm. We got to know who's walking among us. That yes. is so important. Yes. And then once we know, we, we're not doing this to keep people out. We're doing this to keep the people in here safe. That's right. Then you come in our country and you come in legal. Yes. So it's a big problem here. We want the problem solved. And we know Donald J. Trump can solve. And before you let some in your house when they knock you ask who are you who that's are right you? that's right you don't just open up, don't the, just door open up the door and, just let it and they don't get to here. just climb through the window that's right. or just walk in either no Oh, there's this funny thing. You probably noticed it too. Like Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook was talking about, we've got to not build walls. And then, of course, people 
post pictures of his giant mansion with these security gates and guard dogs and, and bodyguards. And it seems all the people uh, in politics who have gates around them and walls around them and bodyguards, they all say, well, we don't need any guns and immigration isn't a problem. But my sort of question is, okay, go live in some of these neighborhoods unarmed for a while and get back to me. Absolutely. Yes. You know, when, when um, President Obama wanted to bring in refugees in our country, where you going to put them people in the hood? Because mm -hmm. why don't you put them up there around the White House with you? That's right. Okay? We cannot have people coming in this country that can't assimilate to our ways. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, you see, the people that's got money, they got power, they got the guards, they got the fence, they can sit behind those closed fences and talk their job. Yes. But why don't you take them fences down and let them move into your neighborhood mm -hmm. and then tell us how you feel about it then? And it's very, very funny that Obama, the Obama administration and Hillary right now do not have a problem sending $25 million over there to Tunisia and Libya to build a 125 mile wall just to protect them from anti-terror. What about the United States? That's right. Charity stars at home. Make sure our borders are secure and safe before you start running over there to other countries. That's but right. I guess they had no on, no choice because mm -hmm. they were the one that went over there, that administration and destabilized the whole country. And guess who $25 million is coming from the taxpayers? And here in the U.S., which is unfair. That's right. Well, you got to tell Israel that walls don't work because they seem to think they work pretty well and seem to do a pretty good job of keeping their country relatively stable. So what is, let, let's, let's close up with um, what you really want people who are on the fence about Donald Trump, because there's two fences, right? I mean, the one is between the Democrats and the Republicans, and the other is between, you know, Donald Trump and Kasich and, and Cruz. What is it that you want to say to people that might help sway them one way or another? Can I go first? Go ahead, girl. Real quick. Career politicians have done absolutely nothing for this country but put us in debt. Career politicians are people that's been in office for years upon years and have done absolutely nothing to benefit us, the American people. When I look at all of the nominees that's running for president, I only see one person that is not a career politician, and that's Donald Trump. I only see one that's not being bought like the rest of them with these different donors and special interests and lobbyists, and that's Donald J. Trump. He is the only one that don't have a problem with standing up for the mm -hmm. American people, speaking out what's really truly going on. If you look at right now what's going on in these primaries, this is a place where a lot of people don't usually vote, but right now there's thousands and millions upon millions of people that switch in their party to vote for Donald J. Trump in these primaries. He is the one that we need to go with because he wants to do something that's going to help us instead of destabilize us as well. That's right. That's right. And when you look at Donald Trump, know that he's working for all people, yes. women, men, all of us. And he wants this country united. You want to get out and you want to vote for the man that had the master plan to make America great again. That's right. He's going to make it even stronger and even better. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be an entrepreneur, yes. vote for Trump. If you don't have a job, vote for Trump. If you're ready to unite, Vote, vote for, for Trump. Trump. If you want security, vote for Donald J. Trump. That's, right. That's who you should be voting for, baby. He's the only one that have our best interests in mind. All of these other ones, these are career politicians that you're dealing with. They're not going to help you. They're going to handle you. That's Donald right. Trump is the only one that's going to help you. He's going to help you thrive yes. again and yes. come up again. And that's why everyone should be voting for him, Donald J. Trump. All right. Well, I, I, uh, can't, I can't follow that up, so I'm not even going to try. But thanks very much for your time, ladies. Remember, uh, diamondandsilk.com. We'll put the links all below. A real pleasure, and keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank having you for us. Bye-bye.